Welcome to the second part on this Emperor's Children tutorial. Now I'm going to start painting highlights. For that I'm going to use Pink Horror and thin it down uh, one to one to one with uh, glaze medium, water, and paint. This I'm going to apply it in very uh, very thin layers over the whole pink area just uh, trying to concentrate on the upper parts but uh, actually on this step I'm trying to concentrate just uh, painting the whole uh, pink area just leaving the very recesses on the screamer pink color but rem remember that uh, this color is not gonna cover too well so you want to just give it a little uh, layer even if it's uneven and looks uh, awful, just leave it to dry and apply a second one when it's when it's dry. And uh, that way you're going to build up the opacity and uh, have a clean uh, paint job that way. Next I'm going to use Emperor's Children, which is the le brightest uh, pink on the range, on the Citadel range. And I'm going to start uh, painting highlights. This is the same principle as before. I'm going to apply thin layers towards the top of the areas and uh, just leave them uh, to dry and apply uh, even brighter spots uh, later. Um, I actually skipped over the last step. It was like three layers of the, the other pink, the previous one. And uh, now I'm just uh, highlighting the top parts with this color. Next, I'm using the same color again, I'm applying a second coat. And you can apply a third coat, fourth coat, until uh, you're happy with the paint, the paint job. Um, this is the way that you're supposed to use your paints. You're not supposed to just leave one coat and, uh, and that's it. And because pink is a very light color, we almost treat it as if it was uh, white or yellow. You have to apply thin layers and not move the paint while it's drying or you, you'll create uh, crumbs of paint and, uh, and brush strokes. So uh, be patient with it if you like to uh, paint it uh, to a higher level. If not, you can apply a slightly thicker layer but uh, make sure it's a little bit uh, watered down and uh, just apply it over the surface. You won't get a very good transition that way, but uh, but either way, it's it's all right. Now I'm going to use uh, this is Iron Breaker, I believe, and uh, I'm just going to dry brush it all over the um, metallic areas, the ones that are big enough to dry brush without messing the the uh, paint job. And then I'm going to use a uh, small brush to highlight the uh, other parts. Well, I I'm actually using the number two brush, but it has a very fine tip so that you can do this kind of work easily. And I'm doing that. Next I'm going to use Eshin Grey and this color I'm going to use it all over the black edges. Uh, this is the more time consuming step. You could uh, skip it if you want to, but if you really want your miniature to look, uh, to pop out a little bit and to see the contrast with, between uh, one black part and the other, I would suggest you to you do this, this step. Although it's very time consuming and it's a little bit... Uh, daunting, but uh, it uh, has a very good result. It's going to look very cool. So just try to use uh, the smallest brush that you have 
and try to line all the edges using the uh, edge of the brush as much as you can and uh, this color is not gonna show too bright on the miniature so it's okay if you mess up a little bit and uh, you can uh, always just come back with a black and fix up the, uh, the errors also use a wet palette and use if you have a flow improver or, or just water to keep the paint uh, moist and uh, and clean your brush every uh, one two minutes to avoid uh, the paint uh, drying on the tip of your brush and next I'm using downstone and this color I'm just going to use it on the very sharpest edges on the sharpest corners and on the places that you want to catch light and uh, this really makes the uh, highlight pop out but it, it goes a little bit faster because uh, you don't uh, have to do it all over the edges just on the uh, bright brightest spots and this uh, makes the miniature looks, look uh, pretty cool if you're not painting uh, to a high standard or uh, to a good tabletop standard you could just uh, skip these uh, edge highlights all, all together uh, to have a painted army quick, quicker also what you can do to make this look better after you can uh, add an extra highlight to the pink just adding white to the Emperor's Children color and apply it all, all over the edges and to the highest uh, highlights to make it look a little, well, a little bit more deep a little bit uh, more uh, brighter uh, gradient with the pink colors and, that, and that's it uh, here I'm uh, highlighting the gold parts with uh, Gehenna's gold and I attach the bolter and I'm going to use uh, Auric Armor, Armor Gold to pick up the uh, highest uh, highlights on the gold to make it look uh, much brighter this is a very simple step next I'm going to use Deathclaw Brown to edge highlight the pouch and leather bits of the miniature, which is just uh, this one here. And then I'm going to use uh, Ballard Brown to paint the, the edges of the, uh, the sharpest edges of the uh, leather and that's pretty much it that's all I did for this tutorial and I think it's a pretty, pretty simple way to approach uh, painting Emperor's Children or uh, Noise Marines and I didn't paint the eyes because uh, the eye sockets on this helmet are very deep and uh, I think they're supposed to be black but you can you could use a bright blue color to paint them up and uh, that'll look uh, pretty cool on other helmets this one I think it's supposed to be that way I'm not sure but it's a pretty deep eye socket without any uh, lens to paint so I just leave it like that and uh, also you could go uh, brighter on the on the yellow if you would uh, prefer and uh, I know some uh, color schemes look a brighter um, pink color but I, uh, I liked it like this and I leave it like that and I hope you liked this uh, tutorial thank you very much uh, for watching and uh, leave comments and subscribe and like my video share it if you can and uh, thank you very much for watching remember that you can find me on Facebook or at Google Plus although I don't use it almost at all you can find me easier on Facebook and uh, yeah, talk to me there if you would like. See you on 
another video. Thanks.